Information presented in this program is provided for educational purposes only and should not be used as investment, tax, or legal advice. Please consult an advisor before implementing any of the specific ideas discussed. Hello, Suzanne here. Today we're going to talk about vision insurance. Whether you're on my website looking at this video or you're on YouTube, the link right below the video here you want to click on and that link will take you to a page where you can quote for dental or vision insurance and you can sign up right there for either one. So I'm going to flip the screen around here for just in a second and I'm going to walk you exactly through how to sign up for your vision plan. Uh, go ahead and put the zip, the zip code in and the birthday. And then if you're male or female, and then just hit continue. It's gonna verify the zip code, residency, gender, date of birth, and if you're tobacco use. So you wanna do a drop down here and mark if you're tobacco use or not. And then if you wanna add family coverage right here, we can add children or spouse if you decide to do that. We want to click no here because we're not talking about pet insurance and no to this one right here. And then you want to click view plans. So this will bring up the dental plans that are available in your area and the vision plans. Today we're just going to talk about the vision plan. So just scroll down here to the vision. And as you can see, the cost is $12.22 for this zip code and this birth date. Um, so basically all you're going to do is you're going to click on read more. This gives you a a longer this gives you more detailed information on what the plan covers uh, so your $15 eye exam copay contact lenses it pays up to $60 for you pays up to 150 for eye, uh, eyeglass frames up to 150 for contact lenses 25 for the bifocals tro uh, bifocals trifocals etc and then as you can see this is basically what your cost would be here. So, and over here it does show you the frequency. So every 12 months is when your eye exam, the rest are 24 months. So we're gonna go ahead and click on enroll now to enroll in the process. Um, it is a VSP network. Up here you can see it's a VSP. So when you call your doctor, you just wanna ask them if they participate with VSP. If so, it would be in the network. So we're gonna just click on enroll now. It's gonna take you to this screen here. If you've already uh, signed up for the dental program and created an account. You'll go back over here to the login information right here. If you are brand new, never uh, logged in for dental or the vision, you'll do it over here. So this is for new beginnings. This is our returning. So I'm going to go ahead and put my information for returning since I already have taken care of it. and then just hit submit. And we're just gonna do enroll now. Okay, so once again, we're just gonna get through the process. So we're gonna look at zip code, put your zip code in there. Birthday, applicant, it's just gonna be for herself or for myself. So one, per, uh, one person will be the applicant. Okay, and your start date, as you can see, it says available effective dates any day for the next three months, excluding the 29th, 30th, or 31st. So unfortunately, since I'm trying to do this today, we have to wait till September 1. So we're gonna go ahead and click on September 1, and then continue. All right, so the person's name, so you're just gonna verify, but verify the name. birthday, gender, and then you'll put in your phone number. And then you'll put an address.
Okay, so all that information's in there, and then you're just gonna do continue. Okay, if you wanna add dependents on, this is where you would add the dependent, which we don't wanna add any dependents on, so we're just going to actually click remove, and then continue. And this is where you're gonna put all the credit card information because we obviously have to make sure that they can pull it from something. So uh, we'll put the name on the card over here. Let's start here. So name on the card. And then you re put your address in here again, just to verify. card number expiration date and the confirmation or that number on the back of the card And you have to agree, so we're going to agree to these and continue. So once again, it's just giving me a summary. It's telling me the applicant's name, the person paying. So we're just verifying that. And then um, I want to. You are confirming that you've read the outline of coverage, and then you're just going to hit submit enrollment. And it's thinking. Right here it says, thank you. Your enrollment has been submitted and it gives all the information to you. Um, your policy will be delivered by direct mail. So within a few weeks, you'll get your policy in the mail. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy. It's a wrap. Um, if you have any questions for me, shoot me an email. Give me a call. Uh, my number up here, 614-448-1834 and my email address right there.